What did you just walk in on? You walked in on No More Heroes, where we are a weeb that becomes an assassin because he wants more money for video games and anime merch. And he saves by going to the toilet. Yeah. That, 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 that's just the way it is. Um, can I not? Okay, hold on. If I exit, I might be able to pull up a config menu because I wasn't allowed to in my house. Okay, here we go. Um, so if I go into config, I'm gonna make this sound effects less loud. Hopefully this works. If I get into a battle, please do let me know how the balancing is. Um, because yeah, it is something I gotta mess with it again because I lost my settings. So I gotta refigure, figure everything out again. But yeah, in between those stages that we just did, where you basically go through a level, uh, beat up the goons, and then beat up the big boss, you have the chilling around your house and exploring the town um, and some other things that come along with that um, so first of all in our bedroom or in our bedroom we have a closet where we can change our outfits uh, if we have more than one uh, you can gather more clothes and things like that uh, I don't know that we have any extras now I think we just have well yeah we we, we have a few t-shirts that we can pick from um, so we could swap out t-shirt uh, or wear, wear no t-shirt. Um, but I think for the rest, like our jeans, jackets, and belts, and sunglasses, we only have one of. So, um, no real choices there. That That's what we can do with the closet. We have a drawer here, uh, which I think is just for weapon upgrades. Yeah, that's for your beam katana upgrades. If you have... Uh, more other stuff. Uh, we don't really have any of that now. There are some great t-shirts in this. Yeah, for sure. I definitely want to try and get a bunch of them. Uh, we can view the map of the town. Which I don't think is really that interesting. Um, but yeah, you can move around and you can see some things. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not too fussed about that. A mission result? I don't know what mission result is. It doesn't really seem to show much of anything. But I never really used that. So I'm not too fussed. More importantly inside of here is the telephone. Um, because well we need to make calls of course. There are no messages. Uh, well we have no messages right now. But that is where you get calls about like your uh, next target and stuff like that. Toilet is of course the save. We have a TV that we can watch and check videos on. This is just the intro movie that we've already seen at the start. So I'm not going to watch that again. But you can get other movies as well that you can watch. I don't know what's in the fridge again. Oh, that's just the heel. Okay. We also have like an N64 in the background. A bunch of like anime figures, wrestling masks. It's pretty cool. There's, there's quite a lot there. Uh, we also have... A little kitty cat. Hey girl. And we can give her scritches. Yes. Give the cat scritches. That that's a ten out of ten game right there. A booby pillow and giving a cat scritches. What's what more could you want? Ah, adorable. Adorable. I love it. Uh, and then we have cards. Uh, so th th this is where you can check your card collection of all of the cards that you collect. Um, and the cards are of different wrestlers, essentially. Um, yeah. Okay, that that's everything that we have in our house. So let's exit out now. And we'll go ahead and explore around town. I don't care about the rest of the game, just give me the kitten. The kitten is good, for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some scratches every time we come home. Um, but we are gonna explore the rest of the 
uh, map too. We have our bike that we can ride. Um, since the thing is right here, I'm just going to walk. We have a limousine parked in front. The next fight has been arranged. You don't have a lot of time, so I'll just tell you what you need to know. The ninth ranked assassin is currently Dr. Peace. A doctor? Actually, a detective. A dirty and unscrupulous detective with plenty of dark secrets about him. Illegal investigations, illicit sales, black marketing. He is your one-stop shop for marketing illegal goods. And on top of that, he is a trained assassin. He's been doing some work for the Mafia. And before you know it, he's up there ranked ninth on the list. To be frank, he's good. You won't stand a chance against him. You're as good as dead. What's it going to be, cowboy? Put me in, coach. All right. Please transfer 150,000 LB dollars. What? 150,000 LBs? Your entry fee? My overhead costs? Don't tell me that you were not expecting so many zeros on that price or that I am ripping you off or some shit. We have an elite staff in the thousands. Personally, I think it's a bargain. Okay, I gotcha. But you really think I got that kind of dough on me? What the hell am I supposed to do? You are supposed to do your job. You've been hired to kill someone, so just do it and quit your whining. Plus, on the job training would be good for you. If you're interested, I can introduce you to an agent, an advertisement agency. But really, they're a waiter. I'll tell you where it is later. I'm running late for my facial. Catch up later, okay? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sylvia is, I think, a great character. Um... I, I believe she's actually based on like a Dutch porn star or something, uh, which is pretty funny. But yeah, I, I just love how thirsty Travis is for her. And she basically just uses that to string him along and make him pay like ridiculous sums to get a chance at fighting for his life, uh, which is wild. But, you know, it's a fun ride, I think. It, it's definitely a game I think you shouldn't take too seriously because then you're going into it with the wrong mindset. Anyway, we have to earn 150 grand. Not chump change, so we're gonna have to earn some money. And that's what happens in between the big assassination jobs. So you can take on assassination missions from K Entertainment. Earn enough money to enter the next ranking battle. So yeah, there's two methods of earning money. It's not meant to be serious at all. Yeah, for sure not. There's two methods to make money. One is assassination missions. And the other is more regular side jobs, which I think we'll see in a moment. Remember, Sony, we only need high-ranking assassins. If you don't have an introduction ticket, please leave now. We only ever work to those who have proven themselves as hard workers. May you find your true path. So unfortunately, we're not allowed in. We have not proven ourselves yet. Even though we're the 10th ranked assassin, we haven't proven ourselves. But luckily, the job center is now open. You take a part-time job missions from the job center. Earn enough money to enter the next ranking battle. Press the X button to call your bike. Stand next to it and press Y to get on. And Y to get off. Press up to change the minimap's display. So you can get rid of that as well. Well, first of all, we want to call our bike over. This is not a town you want to walk through. Um, I think the town is definitely like one of the weaker aspects of the game. I think this game probably wouldn't have been any worse if you just had a map and you selected from the different locations. But that's not the way that they decided to do things. So you actually drive around this map... Um, and there are some things to find on here, but it's definitely not even remotely to a lively town like you'd see in something like Grand Theft Auto. If you expect that level, you're gonna end up rather disappointing. It is really empty feeding. Like, there are some people walking around, but like, there's barely any. Barely any cars either. So it, it just, it just feels very empty. Um, and yeah, it, 
it just kind of feels like a waste because they clearly had to spend some um, resources on this and I feel like it, it would have been better spent on something else and just make this a map where you just select uh, the job center, your house, etc. Looks like a map part of LA, basically. Why are you here, third grader? This place is where third graders get together. So you remember. Well, I'll teach you some good stuff. All first graders in the world were once third graders. So third class is the first step up the ladder to first class. Your life will change if you work here. I'll tell you one more thing. How do third graders become first graders? That's easy. They worked their damn butts off till they were puking blood. And then worked some more. You want to be a first raider? If so, just work hard. You chalk up jobs to survive in this town. I'll hook you up with some more work if you do this job well. The job has been posted on the bulletin board. So we luckily are able to just do some regular jobs. Like this one. Coconut collector. Collect coconuts. Perform a rolling sobot against the palm tree to make coconuts fall. It's at the juice stand. DDT juice. And we get 2000 for each delivery. It doesn't pay great. Um, when you consider we have to do... 150,000 so you have to do 75 deliveries but you get better jobs later on so it, it does rank up as you get like progress in the game you get better uh, missions and jobs as well but yeah head to the client mark point marked on the map so we want to get on our bike again because there's really just never a reason to walk anywhere it's just slower and everything. Uh, this first one is really quite close by. Um, it's not a long drive. You can just uh, get over here and talk to our employer. The unspoken rules of Santa Destroy are okay. But the coconuts of Santa Destroy are more my thing. Coconuts from these parts fetch a high price. This town is built on coconuts. Coconuts are worth more than human life. You can put that on a t-shirt. Coconuts are God. So gather them now. Coconut collectors start. Gather coconuts and give them to the storekeeper. Use combo attacks on the palm trees to make the coconuts fall. Press the A button repeatedly when carrying coconuts to walk faster. Three, two, one. So yeah, these are just mini games. So in this one, we, we have to like run up to trees. Is it not? I thought it was trees. Is it? Okay, there we go. Now it's registering. So you do that, you grab a coconut, and then you have to huddle back to him. And we have like three minutes to do this, I guess. Um, I had a very slow start there. I guess I'm not allowed to grab this one that's down here. Oh well, whatever. Maybe we can get him after this. But yeah, and you get 2,000 per coconut. So, unfortunately, we're not doing great here. So, we're not going to earn too much from this one. There we go, now we can pick this one up. But yeah, the, the missions do get more profitable later on. Travis can't handle his coconuts. Yeah, he's definitely not great at the coconuts. You have to actually find like a tree that you can beat up on. Which is the annoying thing because not all trees allow it. Oh, we can we can collect multiple at once. We can have two at once. I forgot about that part. Wind last in the produce department. I mean, I think you are probably jealous though. Getting two grand per coconut. He wouldn't have to last too long in the produce department on those kinds of wages, right? Yeah, we basically mash A and bring it back. And this is definitely like the weaker part of the game. Like the kind of downtime, really. Um, but I think some of the missions are at least like interesting ideas. Like fun little mini games in concept. 
even though they're not always great in uh, execution. 2G's per coconut beats the hell out of my 12 an hour. Yeah, see? So, I mean... Maybe if he would rush more, he would make a bunch of money, but... Yeah. You can probably pretty comfortably get, like, 10 out of this. Um, because I, I definitely did this poorly. Also, don't let the coconuts drop on your head. That hurts. But yeah, you can probably get like 10 comfortably in the time limit. Um, maybe a bit more if you're better at it. But I'm not great at it. But yeah, we made 10,000 in like 3 minutes. Or 20,000, I mean. That is gold ranking. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm going to gold rank every mini game. Um, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll try for things. Hey, third grader, I've got another job for you. Something a little shadier, perhaps, but work all the same. I've sent an introduction ticket on to my associate. The road to becoming a first grader is long and hard. Get your ass in gear. So I think now that is what unlocks, um, yeah, that unlocks the assassinations. A brand new free fight mission can now be selected, so... This will unlock that, so we can check out what kind of assassination mission we have going for us. Travis. Travis, welcome. Here's a list of jobs you can do in your next run. So we have two assassination gigs. One is Pizza Butt, chain restaurant Pizza Butt plans to open up in Santa Destroy. To crush their plans, kill Pizza, Pizza Butt CEO. So... We'll do that. Reward is 30,000. So that definitely pays a lot better. But I will tr show off every like side job at least once. Um, purely because I think it's cool to at least show them off. Even if they aren't the big money makers. We still got like 20,000 out of that one. Um, search for the target point, check the target point on the map. So yeah, again, you have to basically drive over to where it is. And it's in this case the big M. So we're gonna go over there. But yeah, usually I think the assassinations tend to be a bit more profitable. Um, but I like to do a mix of both to earn my money. And uh, we will probably also do a little bit of exploring around town. Uh, cause I know there is some stuff we should be able to do now, already. Uh, even though it's, for the most part, a barren thing. All right, we, we took the complete wrong way. And yeah, if you try to go too fast from a standstill, you'd like do a wheelie. Which, I mean, it's kind of cool, but also kind of pointless. All right, let's get out and uh, do some missions or do this mission. So it isn't going to be just a combat. Please do let me know if the audio is balanced better now or if we should lower it things uh, from this point on. Because I think before the fights were a bit loud. Now, one important thing to note is you have a lot of these guys running at you. Uh, you don't have to kill any of those extra guys. You just have to beat up the target. Of course, beating up the other guys can get you some money. But as long as you beat the target, you win. That's all you need to do. So here you can see we did it in 20 seconds rather than 3 minutes and we made 30 grand. We only get a silver for this um, so I'm not sure if gold is based on the number of kills or on your time but I don't think pay differs per skill. Uh, we have now enough money to pay the entrance fee for the next ranking battle so we can go over to an ADM and make that payment. Um, 
But we don't have to necessarily. You 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 can choose to do it later. Um I will probably go ahead and also do the other assassination mission that we had available to us. Just because I wanna show off uh everything in between the fights. That sounded okay? Okay, good. Then it should be better balanced now. Assuming that things are loud enough in cutscenes and such. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one as well, because I'm just curious. And I feel it's better to just have a bit of extra money anyway. Because, yes, you are going to have to pay every time. And yes, the money is just going to go up. So you might as well earn some extra cash. And this one is kill until you die. Mission ends when your life runs out. So you get 2,000 per kill that you can make. Um, but there's no... No upper limit, essentially. Uh, as long as you can stay alive. So we'll we'll see what we can do. I'm not sure if I'll, like, try to stay alive super long. Um, I might just let myself die at some point. But I just want to at least do all of the assassination jobs and all of the, like, regular jobs or site jobs. Like, at least once. And we'll try and do the new ones in between every uh, assassination mission. Just so... Later on, we don't get, like, a big section where I didn't do a bunch of things. And it cuts down on some grinding later on if we already make a bit of extra money now. I keep going up this slope. I, I pretty much never need to be up that slope. I'm pretty sure this is literally in the same parking garage we just were. But yeah, this time we're not going for a quick kill, we're going for endurance. Or is there an upper limit? Maybe there is a limit of a specific amount of enemies? I'm not sure if it spawns in more once we kill all of these. Well, we'll find out. We will kill at least some, right? Before we get murdered ourselves. Let's go. That's at least some dead. That's another one? Oh, come on. Stop it, you. Get out of here. Well, we're already at, like... 10 kills, so... We're not doing bad. But we are probably gonna die pretty quickly. Did we do them all? Oh, we have a time limit. Okay, we finished. So that is actually a set amount of enemies then. I didn't know about that. So yeah, 15 enemies, we got 30,000. We did it in a minute, and we get gold. I'll take it. Again, I'm not promising golds on every mission, but I, I am going to at least show off every mission. Uh, okay. I think that's all of the new missions we have right now, though. We can check the map. Um, right. There is... There isn't actually... There, there should be some locations. Um, I don't think they're showing on the map, though. Um, but there, there should be, like, clothing stores. So we can buy some shirts. And then also there's a place where we can get, like, upgrades for our weapon. Um, but they're not showing on the map now. I think we need to visit them once. But I can't remember if they already are unlocked. 
or if we unlock them later. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can't go there already. Uh, we do have the ATM here, so we should probably make our payment. Uh, although, you know, we, we can do that later. Welcome back. I think there was something over to this side. Is it available? It might not be available yet. Maybe it's not available yet. Because I think there was like the weapon upgrades somewhere here. But it doesn't look like it is available to us right now. Oh, we have something else here though. This is one of our Loki Kov, Lovikov balls. I think there's like... 50 or 100 in total? There is a reward for getting them all. Uh, we will see more about that later. Uh, wait, can we go... Can we go in here now? Or is this also closed still? Because this is the DVD store. Okay, yeah, we, we should be able to go in here. No? Preparing? Okay, I guess we're not allowed to really explore yet. I guess that unlocks after this fight then. So in that case, uh, we are just going to go ahead and pay our fee. And uh, we'll worry about the other things later. You've paid the stipulated entry fee. Return to the motel. So yeah, once you've paid the fee, you just gotta return to the motel. Because yes, we're, we're actually staying in a motel, not in our house, which is a bit weird. You'd think we could just stay in a house or something, but nah. We're, we're just staying at this random motel. But hey, we, we have a cat, so you know. It's fine. Also, another one of those Lovikov balls right there. We'll grab that. Let's enter the apartment. Hey, Travis. The next fight has been prepared. Destroy Stadium. Dr. P is waiting for you. Hop to it. Short and to the point. So we know our next location. Let's uh, give our kitty some scratches. Or let her wash herself on our stomach. You know, that's cute too. And let her lay down. Aww. It's cute. Meow. Yeah, scratches, scratches, scratches. And she can roll over and show her belly. God, I love it. This, like, this is just a great feature to add in any video game. You can give her belly scratches. And there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna go to the toilet and do a quick save. And then uh, we're going to exit and we'll go ahead and go for the next fight 